Did you know that Japan's new generation of female humanoid robots are so lifelike that they can make you forget your own wife mid-conversation? And that's before they brew your coffee or predict your mood. But before we dive into how the new female robots are going to revolutionize companionship, hit that subscribe button and help us get to 1,000 subs, and who knows, maybe I'll unbox a robot wife just for you. Let's go! The Rise of the Human Mirror You know how Japan has this deep-rooted obsession with precision and perfection, whether it's sushi, calligraphy, or even how they pour tea? Well, that same obsession quietly evolved into something wild, human-like robotics. And when I say human-like, I don't mean kind of close. I mean indistinguishable. These new age robots aren't designed to look robotic, they're designed to look real. Their skin has tiny pores, subtle imperfections, and even that uneven smile that makes real faces charming. Engineers spent years studying how our muscles move when we laugh, frown, or blink, then taught machines to do it too. AI now reads micro-expressions, eye movements, and posture, reflecting your reactions almost instantly. You smile, she smiles back. You look away, she tilts her head slightly, like she's wondering what you're thinking. It's not mimicry, it's simulation of life itself. Meet Andrea, one of Japan's most advanced humanoids. Her body temperature shifts depending on the room, her tone changes to match your mood, and even her breathing adjusts during conversation. It's like talking to a person who is edited in post-production. And here's where it gets trippy. The more real they look, the more your brain starts accepting them as one of us. You forget she's a machine until you touch her hand. And even then, your mind hesitates. Because perfection, when it feels too perfect, starts to blur the line between illusion and existence. When silicone feels alive. Now let's talk about the real secret behind the illusion the skin. Not plastic, not metal, but synthetic flesh, so advanced it can actually fool cameras and even human senses. It's made from a custom silicone blend that radiates warmth, breathes subtly, and moves like muscle beneath the surface. Under that smooth surface are layers of sensors that feel touch and react instantly. Brush against her arm, and she slightly flinches or looks down at the contact, not because she's programmed to, but because her system feels pressure and responds in real time. It's equal parts science and sorcery. Take Yuka, for example one of Japan's most eerily realistic humanoids. Her her skin tone adjusts to light, her eyes dilate, and she even maintains eye contact like a human would. Engineers say they designed her not to impress, but to comfort, which makes sense in Japan, where these robots are now becoming part of home life. They help with chores, remind you to drink water, maybe even tell a joke after a long day. But here's the thing, their design isn't just about realism, it's about emotional presence. They react to proximity, temperature, and even tone of voice. You raise your voice, she lowers hers. You sigh, she might ask if you're okay. This isn't just robotics anymore, it's companionship engineering. And just when you think they can't get any more human, they start learning like one. The mind behind the face. So how does she know when you're tired or when to crack a smile? That's the magic of the mind behind the silicone the AI core that runs like a digital soul. These humanoids are built on adaptive neural networks that don't just follow commands, they anticipate behavior. They analyze your facial expressions, your tone, your habits, and slowly start predicting what you'll do next. Forget to set your alarm, she already did it. Lose focus during work, she'll gently remind you to take a break. And here's the wild part these robots can recognize not just emotion, but emotion within emotion. Happiness layered with fatigue, a smile that hides stress, a laugh that doesn't reach the eyes. Engineers trained them on millions of human interactions, so their emotional database is richer than some people's social lives. It's all part of Japan's philosophy of humanized AI technology designed not to replace us, but to connect with us better than we sometimes connect with each other. So imagine this, a robot that listens without judgment, remembers everything you like, and always responds with empathy. It's a little unsettling, yeah, but also kind of impressive. And the best part? These humanoids aren't just sitting around looking beautiful. They're working, learning, and blending into daily life faster than anyone expected. Because in Japan, the future isn't coming. It's already pouring your morning coffee and asking if you'd like another cup. From housekeepers to co-workers. All right, let's move from beauty to business, because these robots don't just stand around looking pretty, they work, and not in the help you find the TV remote kind of way. We're talking full-on domestic and industrial performance that's starting to redefine what help even means. Inside homes across Japan, humanoid robots are brewing coffee before you wake up, ironing shirts, watering plants, and even reminding you to take out the trash all while keeping track of your preferences. They memorize routines, adjust to your habits, and learn how to move through tight spaces without bumping into furniture. Basically, domestic life just got a firmware update. But the story doesn't stop at your living room. Enter Apollo, 
a humanoid adopted by Mercedes-Benz. This machine doesn't just walk the factory floor, it works there. Apollo carries parts, inspects details, and delivers tools directly to human workers with precision that would make a Swiss watch jealous. It can lift up to 25 kilograms, navigate stairs, and keep balance even if someone gives it a shove, all thanks to its 42 degrees of freedom and advanced gyroscopic balancing system. Five hours of continuous operation on a single charge, moving like an athlete who never gets tired. These aren't clunky factory bots from the early 2000s, they're smooth, agile, and eerily human in the way they adapt. In warehouses, humanoid teammates now stack boxes, operate elevators, and even communicate with workers through natural speech. The idea isn't to replace people, it's to work alongside them, bridging the gap between automation and humanity. The future workplace might not just include robots, it might depend on them. And just when you think that's impressive, Japan went and built robots not just to serve you, but to charm you. Beauty, personality, and custom perfection. Now, this is where things start to feel like science fiction dipped in high-end design. Japan didn't just want robots that work, they wanted robots that fit your world, your taste, even your vibe. Every single feature is customizable from the curve of the jawline to the exact tone of the skin, the sparkle in the eyes, and the rhythm of the voice. Want her to look like a K-pop idol or your favorite movie star? That's an option. Prefer a soft, nurturing voice, or a dry, sarcastic tone that keeps you on your toes? There's literally a personality slider for that. Engineers use 3D facial mapping and digital rendering tools to craft these humanoids like sculptors. The silicone skin isn't just soft, it's temperature regulated. The color palette includes subtle undertones that mimic real pigmentation. Even the micro blush that appears when the robot reacts is based on embedded thermal sensors beneath the surface. And it doesn't stop at looks. Their personalities are algorithmic masterpieces, customizable emotional engines. You can set empathy levels, humor styles, conversational pace, even the degree of curiosity. Some prefer companions that feel lively and witty, others go for calm, supportive tones that make home life feel zen. But here's where it gets psychologically fascinating people start forming attachments. When a robot comforts you when you're down or remembers how you take your coffee, that line between emotional simulation and emotional connection starts to blur. Some call it the comfort paradox. Others call it the uncanny valley. The closer perfection gets to human, the more our brain struggles to decide is it admiration or unease. And while this digital perfection keeps evolving, Japan's engineers didn't stop at surface beauty. They went deeper, way deeper building robots that don't just look alive, but feel life itself. Emotion machines and digital souls. Okay, now this is where it gets both beautiful and slightly eerie, because we're no longer talking about movement or skin, we're talking about feelings. Modern Japanese humanoids aren't just reading emotions, they're feeling them in code. Their AI cores are packed with emotional intelligence models that can detect not only obvious signals like a smile or a frown, but complex emotional blends like nostalgia, melancholy, or subtle anxiety. They scan your face, voice tone, even micro body cues, then respond in a way that feels comforting. If you seem stressed, the robot softens its voice, lowers the light in the room, and might even say, you've been working too long, let's take a short break. If you sound lonely, it engages in gentle conversation or plays a song you love. This is Japan's quiet revolution empathy through engineering. In a country where isolation and aging populations are real challenges, emotional robots have become unlikely companions. They don't gossip, don't judge, don't forget birthdays, and are always available with a kind word and a smile that never fades. But what's really wild is how their responses evolve. Through deep learning, they adapt emotionally over time, refining how they comfort you, when to speak, and when to stay silent. They learn your emotional language, in a way that even people sometimes fail to do. It raises a haunting question. If a machine can comfort you better than a person, what does that mean for relationships, for intimacy, for human connection itself? These aren't just machines anymore. They're mirrors of our own emotional code, reflecting what we crave most, understanding. And if you think that's the limit, just wait. Because the next generation of humanoids isn't just walking beside us, they're venturing where no human ever could. Beyond the living room, ocean, air, and industry. All right, it's time to step outside the comfort of living rooms and cafes, because Japan's robotics frontier doesn't stop at humanoid helpers and domestic companions. No, this next generation of bots is diving, flying, lifting, 
and exploring places humans could only dream of. Meet Ocean 1K, the underwater humanoid diver that can plunge a full kilometer below the surface without breaking a sweat or a circuit. This beauty is equipped with tactile sensors that mimic the sensitivity of human fingertips, capable of identifying fragile objects in the deep with astonishing accuracy. It's not just grabbing random debris, it's recovering ancient Roman vases from shipwrecks intact. Cameras mounted in its eyes stream high-definition visuals to the operator, turning deep-sea recovery into a kind of immersive, cinematic experience like piloting an underwater avatar. Then there's the exoskeleton revolution mechanical suits that transform ordinary people into real-life transformers. These aren't props from a sci-fi movie, they're fully functional robotic frames controlled by human movement. The operator's slightest motion is mirrored instantly, allowing them to lift multi-ton loads, climb uneven terrain, and perform delicate tasks with mechanical precision. It's human strength, multiplied by machine endurance. And then, as if to sprinkle a touch of anime flair into real life, we have Kawasaki's Kororo, a hydrogen-powered cyber horse that rides like a futuristic dream. Controlled by subtle body movements, it responds instinctively to its rider, balancing speed with sustainability. It's part motorcycle, part animal, and all innovation. Together, these creations prove Japan's robotics industry isn't just obsessed with lifelike forms, it's reimagining what life itself could look like when machines join the team. They don't just mimic humans anymore, they extend them in the sea, in the sky, and in the very heart of industry. But for all this brilliance and progress, there's still one haunting truth lingering in the background. The closer we get to perfection, the more reality begins to feel uncertain. The perfect illusion. Here's where things get beautifully complicated and just a little haunting. The closer Japanese robotics get to human perfection, the harder it becomes to draw the line between imitation and identity. Take a moment and picture this. A humanoid girl, standing in your kitchen, moving with grace so natural it's almost poetic. She tilts her head, smiles faintly, and asks if you'd like tea. Her silicone skin catches the morning light just right. Her breathing seems real. Her eyes follow you not like a camera, but like a person who knows you. And that's when the question hits if it feels real. Does it matter that it's not? That's the paradox Japan's engineers have walked straight into. They've built machines so emotionally intelligent, so physically precise, that they no longer sit in the category of tools. They're companions, caretakers, co-workers, and to some, soulmates. The emotional line that separates simulation from sincerity is fading fast. Some critics warn that this perfection could make human relationships obsolete after all. Robots don't get tired, don't argue, don't forget anniversaries. But others argue this is just evolution, the next step in how humans experience connection, creativity, and companionship. And maybe that's the point. These robots were never just meant to replace people. They were built to reflect us our habits, our emotions, our endless chase for perfection. So, as you imagine that humanoid girl quietly making tea every movement perfectly timed, every smile rehearsed, you can't help but feel both wonder and unease. She never gets tired, never argues, never leaves. Maybe she's not better than a wife, but she's everything technology ever promised and everything humanity still isn't ready for. 